Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. And this new Switcher's Guide video series aims to provide a quick video comparison between the features on Windows, I'll be, I'll be taking Windows 10 as an example, and Elementary OS, which is a user-friendly Linux distribution. On this first quick video, we'll cover the basics of why you would want to switch and how to do it. First, why would you switch? Well, a few reasons can come to mind, but even though Windows is a very good OS these days, with thousands of applications and a pretty stable base now, it still acts like a jerk sometimes. First of all, Windows collects data about your computing habits and mostly hides that fact. You need to go inside the menus and parameters to deactivate everything. Windows 10 is still closed source, which means Microsoft can do whatever they want to your system without you knowing about it. Windows 10 forces you to update your system, whether you like their new features or not. Windows 10 is still the number one target for viruses, ransomware and spywares, because it's the one with the biggest market share. And Windows 10 has a pretty inconsistent UI, mixing and matching some old Win32 designs with some more recent Windows 8 style UIs with some even newer style Windows 10 interfaces for a system that looks disjointed most of the time. All those problems do not apply to Linux or Elementary OS. Second, what is Elementary OS? Elementary OS is a Linux distribution. That means it's based on the Linux kernel, the GNU OS and tools, and it has a desktop environment, which is called Pantheon, and which is what you use to interact with the computer and some default programs to work. It's currently on its fourth version, and the fifth should arrive pretty soon, in a few months. And Elementor OS borrows a page from macOS 10's design, which means it might not immediately be familiar to a Windows user, but this guide is here to help with that. What exactly can you do on Elementor OS? Well, pretty much everything. From gaming with Steam, to video editing with Caden Live or other software, graphics design with GIMP or Inkscape, 3D rendering with Blender, running a server, doing documents or spreadsheets, computer-assisted publication, you name it, everything is feasible. There's basically a tool for everything on Linux, and so it is on Elementary OS as well. How exactly do I switch? Well, it's pretty easy. You can go to the Elementary OS website and download the ISO file, and install it to a USB key with a program like Etcher, for example. Then plug that USB key, reboot your computer from that key, you might need to take a tour in your BIOS for that, and start the install. Of course, you should always back up your data first and read on that a little bit. This guide does not aim to cover the installation, only to show you what Elementary OS looks like and a comparison of how to do things on Elementary compared to the same thing on Windows. So for uh, more detailed instructions on how to install, you can visit the Elementary OS website or any single uh, Ubuntu-based website which will have more detailed procedures. So you ready to try it out? Well, let's move on to part two of our guide, which will explain the interface of Elementary OS. I hope to see you guys in the next video and bye!